Okay, welcome back. This is the third of the four resorts that, well, we're not staying at this resort, but it is the resort that I am covering. I can, I'm allowed, like with these green bands, I can go to all four, I can go to all four restaurants, I can go all the amenities, pools, drink, whatever. But this is the fourth. This is the most kid-friendly resort. And behind me is part of the resort. It's the opening lobby. I like it. It's a nice lobby. Um, out of all four of them, it's gonna be a toss-up between this one and Tulum as far as the lobby. I like Akimau for the uh, approach to the lobby, but I think this lobby has more functionality. So I'm gonna take you through it. I'm gonna take you through the resort. Uh, this resort, like I said, is kid friendly. So there's like water parks and um, uh, daycares and stuff like that. So we're gonna go through it and hopefully you like it. So, all right, so this is the lobby. Let's see how I can get. It's a neat lobby. Pretty big. This is the second smallest resort next to uh, Cien Ken. And I love the lobbies at least. All three. just because of the Wi-Fi issue. Some people don't want to pay the $9. Very nice little courtyard, lots of sitting area. And there's your buffet. You got another area to sit, little shows. So in here, they usually have like a pre-show. So if there's shows at nine o'clock every night at Tulum and Koba, uh, Akimau doesn't have any because 
the theaters are under construction, but they have these little shows. So you got a sports bar, and it's just like TVs and bar and drinks and stuff like that, so it's no big deal. Down there is a full service gym. I haven't been down there. Vacation, so why would you go to the gym? But for people that want to go to the gym, there's a gym. And there's like a daycare down there. So you bring your little kitties, you want to spend the day on the beach without the kitties. You can do that. This is where the shows happen. This theater is smaller than Tulum's, but Tulum is a big resort. Nice. Very nice. Bar, all that fun stuff. Alright, so this is the layout of Koba. And over here is all your list of all your restaurants. And some of that may include like bars. So on my sheet I read six restaurants. You get two pools and then one's going to have um, all your kids stuff and I'll show you that. This is like a bus stop because in between resorts you can take trolley cars. So this is the water park. Totally supervised, I got uh, guys on there all the time. Do a little walk through. Again, back part of the water park. You got some ping pong tables, then you have one of the main pools. This is like the happening pool. You can do scuba diving here, train in the pool if you want. It's nice as Tulum's, but then there's that bar, Swimmer bar. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Another restaurant, uh, that's Pisces. I'm not sure what that one is. Oh wait. Is that Pisces? Pisces could be the 24 hour thing. There's a 24 hour food thing you can go to. I gotta find out what that one is. You can sit there and lounge at the beach, or at that beach, at the water pool. Oh, they got a pirate show too. Yeah, here they have more kid stuff, so it's like a pirate. So here, if you really wanted to, if you're crafty enough, I'm not, is you can take some ceramics. Here's some examples. And you can paint them yourself. And then have them base. It's kind of cool. Alright, we're coming up to a spa. And this is a little bigger spa than what I think it would have been. I thought I thought it was. But if you want to get a massage, whatever, I'm gonna come up to one of the a la carte's.
This is one of the a la carte. It's French, Le Gourmet. That's what we're doing it tonight. And then right next to it, is uh, Japanese, the Karu. And this one has um, a show. So if you like show, with your dinner, you can have it because 12 people per table, uh, I would reserve as soon as you would get to your resort because it books up fast. And uh, it's supposed to be phenomenal. We're doing this on Saturday for uh, Mama's birthday, but uh, yeah, it's supposed to be fantastic. And I'm gonna try to record some of it. So that's one of the go-to restaurants here, I would suggest. And then when you come over here, you have yet another pool. Well, there's two pools, unless you count the kiddie pool. So it's another one, it's got a swim up bar, it's got a little island, which is kind of nice. Nice. I believe this one separates the other side, so that's good. Okay, this is another a la carte. Oh, so this is the one that was in back of Pisces. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's supposed to be pretty decent too. Most of these restaurants are air-conditioned. And quite a few of them require dress codes, so pants, uh, nice dresses, shoes, not sandals, well, except for ladies, ladies, they can get away with anything. Not us guys, we gotta dress it, you know, hot. And then, there is another one back here. Yes, I was right. Like I said, these trolley cars are all over the place. You gotta be careful of those. They're not bad drivers, but sometimes if you're not careful or if you're a little too tipsy. So this is another a la carte. This is a Mediterranean, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. We should go around the side and see. Yes, Mediterranean. I'm not sure if this one requires dress code. I know the Light Gourmet does. Does. Um, couple at CN Can. And if you really wanted to, there are some shops pretty close by. Prices aren't too bad. They got a variety of stuff in there, trinkets and stuff you wanna bring home with you. And this is the danger zone. It's not bad, this is the lobby. This is the fifth resort, but I wouldn't really call it a resort. Um, it's a lobby premiere but inside of it is the last a la carte. But this is the timeshare stuff, so it's not bad inside, but I don't know. But inside that is a Mexican restaurant. And then they have all your rooms. So I found another snack bar. It's kind of cool. They have issues with birds, so that's why there's nets all over the place. Because birds get annoying in here. So they serve like snacks, lunch. A view of all the pools. This is a nice little view. 
at night it's lit up with these little street lights. All right, in there is like the teen center, babysitting, um, I don't know, it's a bunch of stuff for kids. It's got like pool tables and ping pong and, and you know, what else they have? What else do they have? They got like a baby station. Uh, you see the pool table, ping pong. So that all in all is Koba. Um, like I said, it's the most kid friendly resort of the four. It's not as small as Cien Can, but it is small. It doesn't have a huge amount of rooms. Uh, and the trolley carts only, they don't go to the rooms because it's not as big. <laughs> Hola. So, uh, one of the things that I don't like about this resort is you, when you book, you only get three a la carte, and everything else is going to be like buffet. You're not allowed to eat at any other resort except for Tulum. And if you are a beach person with kids, you might have an issue getting to the beach. In order to get to the beach, you got to go to Tulum. And so you gotta take a trolley car from here to to the loom to go into the beach. And the same thing coming back. So it's a lot of traveling. Uh, one of the reasons why we picked the resort rat is because it's close to the beach. So that's that's one of the bigger faults is it's too far from the beach, but some people don't care. So if you're one of those people that like just hanging out at the pool great um, their buffets are pretty good they're not like they're really good but I'm not one for buffets so I like my a la carte so that's pretty much gonna be it from Koba oh if I can get this thing here we go yeah it's gonna be it from Koba uh, that's a pretty quick overview of what what happens uh, they have night and entertainment which is pretty good uh, same with Tulum So I'm just gonna leave it at that um, If you like this give her a thumbs up subscribe uh, you Leave me a comment if you enjoyed this and What uh, you would want to see changed what more in depth you want me to go and That's pretty much it from Mexico uh, Check out the other three See what the other resorts look like so I will see you next time.